Let's try the upper body compression sequence. Whether you have neck, low back, or hip pain, this is always gonna be a key ingredient to any melt map you create. Let's begin again with the rest assess. I want you to lie on your back with your palms faced up and your arms and legs extended. Use your body sense and scan your masses and spaces. Remember, there's four common imbalances that many of us have that are left unaddressed, so let's scan our bodies for the four most common imbalances. Notice in your upper body if all of your upper back weight is against the shoulder girdle. Notice if your mid-back is arched off the floor instead of having that nice, gentle low back curve just above the pelvis. Notice if in your pelvis you're more weighted on your tailbone than your butt cheeks. And I also want you to use your body sense and notice the back of your thighs. Remember, when we have no stuck stress in our pelvis, the back of our thighs are weighted to the ground. So notice if the back of your thighs feel off the ground on one or both sides. Also take a moment to assess your autopilot by dividing yourself into the left and right half and noticing if you feel balanced from left to right or if your autopilot is having a hard time acquiring its signal to your center of gravity. Remember, if you feel more weighted to one side or one leg feels longer, that's your sign that your autopilot is a little out of balance. So you might want to go back to the rebalance sequence before you do this sequence. Take a nice focused breath. When you're ready, Turn on your side and come on up to sitting and let's begin the sequence together with upper back glide and shear. Place your roller behind your rib cage so that the bottom of your shoulder blades are gently resting on the roller. So place your hands behind your head. You're gonna bring your elbows up toward the ceiling. Let your neck and your head relax in your hands. Find your core. Keep your core engaged and slowly lift your hips and bring the roller to the upper part of your back. Once you're here, we'll begin with gliding. Now remember, the glide, if the roller's moving, you're gliding. And remember, the secret to good gliding and preparing connective tissue is to keep the movement small and controlled. So keep this movement to one or two vertebra. Take a nice focused breath, get smaller and smaller in your movement, and then slowly set your hips back down to the ground and create a slight bit of flexion with your ribs. Now let's try shearing. Really small, I want you to try to tip your ribs left to right, like as if you're trying to scratch your back up against the roller, like a bear scratching its back up against a tree. So it's a tiny tipping motion left to right. Come back to a center point, and remember, once you shear, you wait for a moment. Give the tissue a second to adapt. Let's try another spot. Take a focused breath. On an exhale, find your core, lift your hips, and move the roller down near the bottom of your shoulder blades, just above the bra line. Then reset your feet and start again by gently gliding. So remember, the glide is small and local. This is just to prepare the connective tissue for the shear. So remember, you're keeping the movement small and controlled. The smaller the glide, the bigger the result. The bigger the movement, the more diffused that control can become and the less fluid you get into this local region. So again, take a few focused breaths, get smaller and smaller, and then set your hip down. Find your rib curl and let's try to shear again. Small, tiny motions from left to right. Again, come on back to the center and give the tissue time to adapt by taking a focused breath right into the area you're compressing. Let's try to find one more spot. Keep your core engaged, lift your hips, and move the roller just below your shoulder blades, so you're just below the bra line. Again, reset your feet, but this time, you can keep your hips almost touching the ground as you glide. Remember, your focus is on whatever is on the top of the roller when you create a gliding or a shearing motion. So if you keep your hips down, your back will stay nice and compressed in that one local region just below the shoulder blades. Same thing, get smaller and smaller and smaller in your motion, and then set your hip down, keep your back slightly curled, and let's try the shear again. Again, let's come back to that focused position. Take a focused breath, and let's try rinsing. 
Find your core. I want you to lift up your hips and you're gonna bring the roller to the top of your shoulders. Like a steamroller, on an exhale, slowly move the roller down your back and watch how I keep my pressure constant on the top of the roller. As my roller moves down my back, my head goes up as my hips go down. Once I get just below the shoulder blades, I'm gonna lift up my hips and return the roller back to the top of my shoulders. Take a focused breath and again, like a steamroller, slowly roll down your back, curling your ribs forward as you move the roller. So you can go just below the shoulder blades, but don't go any further and never get to the low back. Let's try this two more times. Lifting the hips up and slowly rolling down the back and curling your ribs forward and just allowing your hips to settle to the floor as that roller moves down your back. And let's try one more time. Lifting the hips and slowly moving the roller in one direction. So remember, rinsing is a one directional motion, so we'll always create the the compression down the back. Now let's reassess. Lie on your back for a moment and just take that natural rest reassess one more time. I want you to notice if your upper back is more weighted to the ground. I also want you to notice if your pelvis or your thighs are more rested to the floor. If you're noticing that type of change, remember that's the indirect before direct approach. So if you had low back or knee pain, the upper body hydrate is going to be a key ingredient in your melt map if you feel your legs are already settling to the floor. Take some focused breaths into your body and let your autopilot reacquire its signal to your center of gravity.